Okay, here we are once again. October 12th, 2024, Bangor, Maine, United States. And it is 54 degrees Fahrenheit, about 12 degrees Celsius on this beautiful October day. It has been very breezy today. And thought I'd take a walk around just a little bit now that the wind has died down a little bit. We've had some pretty severe gusts in part of the state. There are many tens of thousands of people without power. Of course, that didn't take much up here because of our power grid is so ar archaic and antiquated that, uh, you know, it, uh, even in a slight blue breeze, they'll get they'll lose power. And we're so far behind the rest of the country and it is not being upgraded. Here in the Bangor area, we get a power from a company called Versant, which is a Canadian owned company. It was Bangor Hydro, but they sold out to Canada several years ago. And for many decades, our power has always come out of uh, Canada, mainland out of Quebec and uh, somewhere in the maritime provinces of Canada, being this far north in the state. Generally from Bangor North, it comes out of Canada. And the moon is up there already. Looks like just about a half moon. We're a little ways away from sunset. So I thought I'd take a bit of a stroll just to see what's going on out here today. I'm going to be headed into the sun to some extent, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe tomorrow we'll get out again. There's the moon up in there. So we'll head down this way. Hancock Street. Heading towards in-town Bangor now. but it's not uncommon to find uh, drug syringes all over that place. All it's going to take is for one little kid to pick one of those up and get infected with something. It's not going to take much at all.
this shouldn't be a very long video today, but it'll be fun to get out. And uh, that type of thing, so. So it's just a short walk down Hancock Street to Oak Street, nothing major. Yeah, so I'm coming into the sun now. See how this uh, video holds out when I get back home. Oh, those Bangor police. there. There's the Penobscot River. Over on the other side is the small city of Brewer, which is about a quarter of the size of Bangor. It's a very nice bedroom community. Yeah, very comfortable. We're down to a uh, light breeze now. We'll go over and take a full overlook of downtown Bangor here in a minute. So now we're here at the uh, Terraces Apartments. I've been there for a number of years and very well maintained from what I've heard. Okay, what a day. Nothing going on on this Saturday. Monday is a holiday here in, in Maine. and uh, It's called uh, Columbus in Indigenous Peoples Day. And state officers are closed that day. But it's not a federal holiday, so the federal offices are still going to be open. OK. 
Okay. Storage, salt storage place. Been a while since I've walked down this street, even though it is close to home. Just haven't been getting out like I used to be able to. Okay, Nason Park Manor. Okay, let's see what that says on the sign here. Yeah, that's uh, a Bangor Housing Authority thing. Cost the city a lot of money to build that. No wonder property tax is so damn high. Okay, I think I'll take a shortcut up through Dollar General. Here we are on Oak Street. Coming up on uh, Family Dollar, which is right next to Dollar General. Yeah, bit of downtown. Not gonna see much due to the sun being directly there. Oh boy. Yeah, this is just gonna be a short one. Probably end it right at Family Dollar. There's just nothing to see here we haven't already seen. But I at least wanted to get out 
of the house and get a few steps in. up here try and get a better look at damn kind of thing yeah I'm gonna see much up here Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. And uh, big shout out to Let's Go underscore Estelle, Once Upon a City, and Brad Palmer right here on YouTube. Please like, follow, and subscribe and share. Have a good day.